and you don't even have to sew at all. Isn't that great? Yeah, you guys missed me, obviously. <laughs> so like, cheer up now, cause I'm here. <laughs> I don't know why I like to see myself. Hi guys, hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel. <laughs> if you are new, welcome to my YouTube channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a tube top and a cropped vest from one to and you don't even have to sew at all. Isn't that great? For the tube top, you don't have to sew. For the cropped vest, it just involves a little story. And for my guys, my loyal guys are always watching, even though they are not doing the tutorials. This one, you can actually try it out because you can just make a vest from your teeth. And you can decide to make it cropped or not. Anyhow, you want to. I think cropped things look great on boys, by the way. I was supposed to upload a video last week, but life happened. So I could not upload it. But I'm here now. So before we go on, I just want to tell you guys to please subscribe to my YouTube channel if you've not subscribed because, you know, I'm teaching you stuff for free so the least you can do is subscribe to support your girl and also share my video and like, also comment if you can because it helps me, like it boosts my self-esteem makes me feel good <laughs> so if you're interested in the DIY, please continue watching thank you so much I always do this thing. I miss you. So now we're going to start making the tube top. Just get the stuff you need. Now I want to cut out the upper part of the T because we're going to use the lower part for the tube top. I decided my curve vest was going to be 11 and a half inches, so I'm cutting out the upper part. I already measured out 11 and a half inches. I'm going to cut it out. As you can see, I'm not cutting a straight line. It's going to be like diagonal because of the shape that the curve vest is going to take. So now the lower part of the tape, the width is 23 inches and I think 23.1 or 2. It doesn't really matter because our measurements are not going to be the same. Now I'm going to take half of that. Just fold your tape measure to get half. Half of that was 11.6. So I'm going to draw a straight line and then cut it out. After I did that, I cut out an inch on both sides too. Like after I cut out the after I cut the middle, I cut out an inch on both sides because I felt like it was going to be too long. Now I'm measuring the length, which is 12 points, I think 4 or 5. Now half of that also, just like we did the other time, has 6 points something. <laughs> it's going to be different, mine is going to be different from yours because it is not the same size, so it doesn't really matter. Just measure half of that, then draw your line and cut. Put it on both sides. Just trying to make sure the line is as straight as possible because my hand is not straight at all. So I'm trying to make sure it's as straight as possible. Do this on both sides, then you cut. I'm also keep cutting out the labor because we do not need it. When we do this, since we already measured it down to a six points of two, I'm going to measure another half. Why am I laughing? That's three points. One. Do this on all four sides. My crayon decided to betray me. I do this on all four sides. Then we are going to mark out like a triangle shape. Triangular shape. Triangle shape. From the middle point where you marked it, that three points, I'm going to draw two straight lines, 
sorry, not sweet. In the shape of a triangle on both sides, we are doing it on all the four parts of the cloth. Try to make it as straight as possible. I already like um, cut out the upper part of the fabric to make it straight. You know when we cut out the parts for the curb single out, it was not straight. So I cut it out to make it straight. You can just decide to sew it. But I was too lazy to sew. So I did the triangle stuff on all four sides. My crayon betrayed me again. To cut it out. When we cut it out, it's going to give us that triangle shape. This one involves no sewing. It's like the easiest DIY that I've done. Cut it out. So I this on all the four sides. You should already get what the tube top is going to look like now. So yeah, as you can see, I got the triangle shape. Do this on all four sides. Okay, we're almost done with this one, with the tube top. It's very easy and you can wear it out, you can wear it with your jacket, you can decide to wear it alone, however you want to. And we're done so i just get to tie it and that's it and i know you all are feeling the bop <laughs> the background music i'm giving you guys exclusive stuff that's my friend's unreleased song and i know you sang the song for me because i mean look at me i listen to the lyrics <laughs> so now i'm moving to the second diy which is the crop singlet if you are a guy and you are watching this, you can make this for yourself too. Just don't make yours cropped. So now, just make sure you carefully place the thing that I use as like a template. Make sure you carefully place it on your teeth. Like arrange it well. <laughs> Why do I keep laughing? Arrange it well. Then you trace along it. That curved part, make sure you get it well because it's very important. The part where the arm O stops make sure you get it well you can see it's good I already traced out like a different line on the other side I traced out like half an inch more because I thought I was going to cut it out at first but I didn't end up cutting it out I just cut it out at the end to avoid any mistakes okay now I am marking half an inch I need and half sorry from the original neck of the tea because I wanted the neck of my singlet of my curb vest to be lower. I realized I should just have said that because it would have made more sense if it was the original neck of the tea but nothing special. Now I'm just showing you the trace and I traced it again with an orange chalk. So now I'm going to cut out the neck. Just use your round bit to mark the shape of a circle. Since like the singlet is going to be in the shape of a round neck, so carefully mark it out. Make sure they are equal on both sides. Try to make sure the length of your shoulders are the same on both sides so that one part will not be looking smaller than the other part now i'm going to cut it out carefully cut it out shouldn't be too long yeah so carefully cut it out if you are going to reduce the neck if you are not you don't need to do all these parts i'm also going to cut out the back it's going to be higher. So now I'm just showing you the trace line to show you that we've gotten the shape we are going for. If you can see clearly, because 
so yeah just the observe what i was doing i made a silly mistake i was covering the armhole i don't even know what i was thinking but for some reason i was covering the armhole it was there i realized that i was just doing rubbish and i already did the same thing on the other side of it too, so i just wasted time <laughs> so instead of doing that i just need to start saying from where the arm will stop from that curve that i was talking about where that curve stops so i'm going to start sewing from there down so this is basically the only thing you need to sew for this diy then the next part too if you are cutting it out I already took out the thread from the other side and cut it. So this is just it. Just sew it down. Don't be like me, don't sew. Don't go about the arm <laughs> I honestly don't know what I was thinking. Or oh, it's okay to make mistakes. You definitely make okay, maybe not definitely, but it is okay to make mistakes. So now I'm trying to make sure the shoulder is equal on both sides, and I use one and a half inch inches as a measurement for the shoulder. So I didn't end up cutting along the line I originally traced. This was why I was like, it's better to just cut out when you are done. In case any mistake happens or there's a mistake in the measurements, I'm just taking out the thread on the other side. After this, I'm going to close up the neck area to make it neater, to make it look neater. I just put that really, 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 really small amount because I didn't want it to be too low. I don't think it's even up to half an inch. Please feel free to ask questions using the comment box. I will definitely reply. I don't know if you guys have been trying out the other one. But if you are trying it out and you have any questions, you can always ask me. Reach out to me through my socials. They are in the description box. And please stream my friend's music. I'm going to put a link to his songs in the description box too thank you so now we're almost done just close the upper part and this is the end result so these are our two DIY babies for today let's just take our time to appreciate my beauty <laughs> thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe bye